Well, it'll go up and down depending on the weather, depending on the sure, market. Sure, sure, the sure. stock generally goes up and down depending on people buying shares, depending on the, the, the stock makes money. If, if you have McDonald's, say, and the companies are making money, and each McDonald's is making money to give money back to corporate, that's a system. Mm -hmm. You own it, you get paid a dividend, and you get paid the increase of the stock over time. That's the value. If you have gold or a commodity or a forex, you actually have no way to control that. That only goes up and down depending on the world economy. Whereas only McDonald's, it direct, is directly affected by the, the making profit in the U.S. market and in the markets abroad. So it's like, to me that's more valid. So I, I do mostly stocks. But I have a commodities account. Um, I think trading it is very risky. It's, it's harder because you have to compete with maybe a hundred people doing the same thing or a thousand people. When you have the stocks, you just own it and sell the options. It's not too hard. However, the return can be greater in the commodities because it can go from one dollar to two hundred dollars, whereas the stocks might go from one dollar to ten dollars, like that. However, I had one trade where I went from uh, five cents to a dollar forty-five. Five cents. Nineteen fold. That's ninety-five. No, nineteen fold. Twenty-nine fold. So it could happen, you know. I always say start with the stocks because it's consistent, it's easier, it's not so risky, and you can get involved with the companies. Some are in America and some are, are, are out of America, but they trade in America. I think commodities is, is strictly for trading. To, to, to make money in trading, just strictly trading, your ability has to be so high. That you almost can't teach it. It's like you have tremendous discipline. You have to do it. You have to have no fear. You have to be able to walk through fire. You know, that's what kind of confidence, like a lion. Because you can lose like $50,000 in, in one day. And you got to be able to like bear it and go, no problem. We're back tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, sure, no problem. You know, I mean, some, the, the, some day traders, they throw up. They throw up right in front of you at the, at the stock exchange because they get sick. Because losing so much money. But it's not the money they're losing, it's the feeling of losing. And when you win money, great, but when you lose the money, that's when it's very stressful.